Hey guys, Jamie back with another Amnesia Dark Descent playthrough. This is part two, continuing where, continuing where I left off last time, where there was a girl, a woman screaming in the background in the labor laboratory, I think. Pretty sure. And that's where I ended it last time. So, without further ado, I'm going to continue my story. Darn you fraps in your leg. Eleven frames per second? Wow, that's not... It's weird. Usually I have like 34. Okay, I think I fixed my mouse sensitivity. Okay, so do I go upstairs, guys, or do I go down the creepy basement? I'm gonna go down to the creepy laboratory and see what's going on down here. Oh, hey, uh, game glitch. Look at all the walls you've missed here. The other day, children, children, cheered him on. His name voiced in a steadily rising pace, urging him to do it. Am I really doing this? The young boy thought and struck his victim with a rock. That's pleasant. <laughs> Saturday. A little bit, please. Gotta light that so I don't have to waste this. Hello? Anybody? Hello? What is that buzzing sound? You know what? What the heck was... Okay, moaning. Stop it. I hate you. One more, just so I don't freak out. Is anyone there? Oh, come on. You know, there must be some stuff down here I can grab. How's my sanity doing? Slight headache, not bad. All, why is all good? All is not good, come on. Come on, people. Okay, I got some good oil left. Alrighty. It's over here. What the? Okay. Um, not. I don't want to know. Oh yeah, I almost passed that by. Good thing I'm looking. Picked up my oil. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on. There we go. Got, got the oil. Not that bad. Throw that, if I can. Place that. Place you. Why am I... Freaking out. How's this energy doing? Okay, all is good. Why is it saying all is good? Well, my character is freaking out. Just gotta grab my lantern. Oh. Oh. There should be more Kubrat. Let me see. Let me see. And one part Aqua Force. Artificial vita, vita, whatever. The former compounds lack the potency, potency I need, but I sent him close. Calamine and orpiment are given, and the curprite binds them well. This time I will attempt 
Aqua Regia instead of Aqua Fortis in hope it will produce a more even solution. The experiment was unsuccessful. The solution is highly acid acid in oh, it's highly acid. It should be acidic and proves impractical to put in any use except as a detergent. Organic tissue reacts especially violently to the solution and should be handled with the greatest care. I might be able to use the recipe, but I'm losing hope that I will find an alchemic solution to my predicament. Alright, that's uh, it's cool. It's cool. What's in here? Dinner box. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's a light here. I needed a light. Apparently I freak out over the smallest things in here. You go there. Timmy, over there. John. Screw you, John. Go and go throw you over there. Whoa. <laughs> it sounds like a disco. It's like a, it's weird. It's like Nunu. I'm telling you, did anyone watch that when they were kids? Nunu was the bomb. Got a tinderbox. Got another tinderbox over here. Pick up, you stupid little... Gah! Whoa, whoa! Hit myself in the face there. Hey, they can lift this? Whoa! Huh. I'm just so awesome. Time. What? What was that? Hello, I've got a box. Got John here. Got... Get him, John. No, don't run back to me. Useless. Timmy. Talk to him, please. Go talk. Just, just go talk. I don't care. Just talk to him. Don't s Ah, you bolt chickens. Okay. Timmy and John are useless. I'm gonna read this. Chemical relocation. The lack of chimney to proper to properly vent the fumes from the mo my most recent experiments has taken a toll on many of my less stable ingredients in storage. Some seem unaffected, but many are stained by the fumes and will be difficult to salvage. All I do, I shall do what I can to move them to the wine cellar. I need chemicals, okay. Uh, four different chemicals needed to continue. Crap! I don't want to go to a wine cellar. It's a monster in there, I think. So angry you stir this. <coughs> How does that not break? Thunderbox got you. Move. 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 There's gotta be something behind you. Or not. We can join Timmy and John. Or you can just hit that wall. Well gonna take you and just get you into the stabbing position. Chair, you must protect me because Timmy and John could not do that. They are incapable of doing the simplest task. Why are there bugs around this chair? Jeez. He's following me. Sorry. It's not you, it's me. Can't. Can't carry on. Traveling to Dover meant going through Canterbury. 
He made sure to pay a visit to avoid the sense of guilt connected with the neglect of family. It's kind of funny I'm reading the Canterbury Tales now. The Parker Tales are favorite. Dude. I don't want to go. I want to go upstairs, but... Stop it, man! Wind, stop it! Okay. This is gonna... You know, I'm gonna go and find some more tinderbox beforehand. I know there's gonna be some stuff I have to light up. Oh, this is... not fun. Well, it is kind of... It is fun, but... Not in that sense. No railing here, it's just... Death to whoever falls. Okay, let's run this way. Because I can. Oh, that's awesome. Won't budge, no duh. And my character is really stupid. Oh, cave in, awesome. Check out what's over here. Tinder box! Heck yeah! Can I pick you up now? Please. Yeah, it won't budge, no kidding. Up the stairs I go, and... Archive. He fell to the kitchen floor, and tears were beginning to well in his eyes as he received the first kick in his stomach. Hazel reminded him, hidden in fear she would... she too would be punished. She remained hidden, sorry. As I said before my last video, I'm bad at this. There are no glasses on either. I call that an accomplishment. Ugh. Oh, oh come. I can't light you. You know, you don't need to. I have like five left, anyways. How's my sanity doing? Slight headache. All is good. All is not good. All is not good. Huh? Close. Nothing. Move. Check. Move. Tinder box. Nothing. Okay, my oil is pretty good. Just runs out quickly, I guess. You. <laughs> you! You blocking my seating position. You are a very bad man. Well, it's not my fault, Chair. You got in the way, so I'm gonna know you. I don't want to hear you anymore. Yes. Go down a hole. Library room. No door on hinges. That bothers me. I'm just hearing everything on demand right now. Anything in here? No. Or the bottom? No. There's nothing. 16th of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, 
the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Oh, that's mean. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, oh, hoping to reach the burial chamber. Again, no matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. For science, I guess. Oh, my hand is cramping, I don't know why. No, no one out there. Anyone there? Anyone? Anyone? That sound. Catalogs. Study. What the heck was that? You guys hit it too, right? Like this. Why well, I'm here, I should probably just look around and see oh shirts. No. I I'm gonna run to Tinder Box! Heck yeah, it's in the box. Heck yeah. Nothing else. What's this? I don't know. 17th of May, 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. Awesome. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. Of course. At the far end of the chamber, a yeah. great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. Figures. I gave the order to raise it and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. Which way you never go anywhere alone? I was trapped. No, duh! Okay, guys, I don't want to go in this room, but I think I have to. No, I'm not going that way. If there's something out here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. Keep nothing. Any monsters in here? No. Good. Yeah, the door. Okay, shut up! My jaws are killing me. Just light this room. Say so hitting, okay. All is good. All is not good. Chemistry pot. No. Okay. Okay. 
Damn, yeah, open. I think I'm gonna go this way. Just light that. I know we've had our traf troubles and bad stuff. You've always been there for me. Help me. Do this together. We'll do this together, chair. We'll do this together. Whoa! No idea where this guy is. Oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. Oil. It's in a box, in a box. Awesome. Oh, I don't like this. Whoa. Much of the castle yeah. is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. Dude, uh, when the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. They're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. He does no work himself, that greedy Alexander. Ooh, East Wing, West, West Hall, Western Hall, okay. Anything I need from here? Anything I can use? Doesn't look like much. Alright, uh, let's see, how am I doing? Slight headache. How is it, you're hearing mods and you need a slight headache. Check this. Anything to use? I'm not even sure what just happened. Got plenty of oil, okay. Some books. Tinderbox, heck yeah. Pick up, now. Pick up you. No, I want this. No, not that. There we go, no, I... Book. You shall protect me. Soon. Stay there, be good. Unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity. I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. Nice. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. Okay, I guess I'm uh, isn't playing through this. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. Ooh, shiny. Uh, I, I need to touch this shiny object. I reached Ooh. out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to oh, spark oh. brightly and spirit oh. me away. A million memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and in possible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. 
and grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. Nice. Whoa. That's so shiny and snowy. See, I have a good night in the oil. Was that you, chair? Was that you, chair? No, no, no. Chair, stop it, stop it, stop it. Look at me, look at me. Was that you? No. I swear it was John. It was John and Timmy. John and Timmy did it. I didn't do anything, I swear. Don't believe you. Out the window. But you didn't go out the window. She's felt like going your own little direction. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Let me see what uh Ah My trouble not breakable at my hand, okay. Um Would that do it? You know please. Don't throw me, I beg of you. Don't throw you know what? You want know I don't care what you think. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, then. I just don't want to be without. Probably just wasted it oil, but. Camp safe right now, not bad. Okay. That's eight. Might as well. Right there. Yeah, I named you Jeffrey. See there, Jeffrey. Jeffrey's a nice name. Alstad and Bernberg Castle, 1801. Another region which more is Alstad, deep within the East Prussian woods. For centuries, there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brennenberg. The quiet forest clad mountains, the rest with scattered lakes, is Jurassic as can be, albeit in the area is haunted by the dark. Asking a local and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations, since it will clearly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tales, but there are some martyrs that keep reappearing. The gatherers. The story reaches all the way back to the time of the 30th year of the third. Oh my. Okay, 30 years of war. It is said that, that soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies wrought by their tainted souls have left them disfigured and empty in essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horror remnants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. Is their prey which can be hard, struggling inside. Damn, burl up sacks dragged behind them which reveal their presence. 
What dark scheme do they follow? The visit undone. Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa, the well-known erudite, visited Alstadt at the start of the 16th century. He resided in a local inn for a fortnight as he looked at the remnants of the kingdom past. During his stay, all the prominent members of society paid notice, and he has mentioned many records of his time. One day, he went to investigate a burrow in the northwestern glades, only to never be seen again. Heinrich is known to have passed away in Grenoble some ten years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Alstad, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was the mysterious man who visited a sleepy hamlet in the woods, and what happened to him? I don't know. Do you know? Kids! What happened? The Immortal Baron. The Immortal Baron, okay. This is gonna be good. Seriously. Crap, I'm back. Ugh, good. The Baron of, Bar the Baron of Baron of Brandenburg lives in a reclusive life with his family in his castle nearby Alstad, and like most views of noble birth, rumors are inherited alongside with the title. Researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from Rhineland's claiming as the rule as protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remain popular throughout the presumed lifetime. Family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage. Therefore, the birth and death of Alexander on his offspring has been that has never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea that the Baron is in fact the one and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago, lived through the time of occupation, and joined the coveted order of the Black Eagle along with the great leaders of his country. Ooh, local folklore. Whoa, whoa, I swear to God. I gotta light that one too. What the heck was that? Sorry guys, my roof just shook and creaked. This loud creak and I freaked out. My apologies. Ooh. What's this? Oh, I see. I see what they were doing. Okay. I see what they were getting at. Once one starts, you can't do the other one. What the heck was that? I keep hearing noises in my house. Okay, I'm gonna take you with the key. Regarding closing of the wine cellar, cellar, Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research long enough with their abstent-minded handling of the human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brennenburg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until this matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave, or they will starve. Whatever comes first. I can rot for all I care. Maybe I will feed them some wine. You'll be in a sense solve both my problems. Oh, that's nice. At least he cares a lot. Nothing. Okay. What's in here? Books. Still, I want to know what this thing reads. Something, something, something Copernicus. I don't know. The... Something, something... Heinrich. Theon Heinrich or something. I don't know. These paintings are quite nice too, I and mean, look at that. I think it describes something to do with the uh, castle being. I don't know. I'm just guessing here. Key, something's gonna happen, I can't do. Oh my god. 
There's a monster here somewhere. I am crapping myself right now. Not literally, but I'm freaking out. God, he's in here. He's in here. Oh my flippin' God. This is creepy as heck. I don't like this. Go away, master. I don't need you. Oh, wait. You don't... You don't like me? No, I don't! Get away! Okay, I'll leave you to your... closet. <laughs> like, you gotta need that. Thank you, you got me I gotta check it out. It's... I don't wanna know. I'm booking it. I don't wanna know. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Oh my god! The sand gave way to his tired body as he fell from the camel's back. He felt the wind gently sweep across his face and his dry, crusted lips. Ah! My God, what the heck is going on here? What's over there? God, first monster sighting. I'm freaking out. I don't, I don't like this. Uh -huh. All right, so, um, I think we're gonna end this here, guys. Uh, remember, if you like the video, comment, rate, and subscribe. I'd like to see your comments. It really helps me out. It makes me know if you guys want me to keep doing this. This is part two. Uh, in the end here, I am scared to death. Uh, saving, exiting. Have a good one, guys.